Thousands of supporters are asking lawmakers to pass a law that would give public money to private schools. There's about 300,000 families currently in private schools. There's just about uh, 4.8 million in public schools. So with the opportunity that this could provide, you would have almost 5 million children with, with far more choices. But opponents say there are long-term benefits of keeping that public money within the public education system. It reduces the crime rate. It reduces the um, need for public assistance. It increases or tends to increase individual wealth levels. Now opponents also say school choice reform does not guarantee quality assurance in the classroom. They say private schools would not be held accountable on how they spend those public dollars, a non-issue for public education. The fact that we have certified teachers within the public system, or whether it be the fact that we have vetted on a statewide level our curriculum through our Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills, TEKS, but the data is clear for supporters of school choice who say Texas should be leading the way on the education front. In Washington, D.C., for example, there was a graduation rate of 70 percent, and when they instituted an, an opportunity scholarship for the students so that they could pick whichever school they wanted to go to, graduation rates went up to 82 percent. According to data from school choice advocacy experts, 10 percent of American students attend private schools and 3 percent are taught at home. From the state capitol, Carlos Garcia, Time Warner, Cable News.